infectious. Do you see that? I'm wondering you know, what we should look for that indicates your energy. Yeah, I mean, I, I try to communicate everything when I'm on the court, or even if I'm on the bench, just talking, yelling, um, and then getting other guys to do the same thing. I think once everybody on the court does that, we become a really dangerous team. How much different is the team without me? What's that? How much different is the team without Nick? I mean, Nick is is our, our big guy down low. He's shot blocker. He's a rebounder. He's really really hard to guard in the post, and, and he's a great defender himself. So, without him on the court, you could definitely tell there's a missing piece. But I think we did a really good job today. Of him playing for him. We definitely miss him. Though. Uh, I think we've made a lot of big strides since the first game. Uh, I thought today was a lot better. Guys were, were more locked in and more in tune with what we were trying to do. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we all realize it's a big game. We all realize kind of the, the stakes that the game holds. And I think for, for me as a guy coming in, not playing in the Madison Square Garden before, um, obviously going to have butterflies. It's a big game. You can play in the Mecca basketball, college basketball or NBA basketball too. Um, it's, it's it's a big deal, but I think I just need to be calm, cool, collected. I'm going to go for one more. I'm a fair sense by this slow start for so far. What are you guys saying to him? I mean, I think he's just one of our better guys, and I think for him, I mean, he's, he's playing really, really well. Uh, he's rebounding the ball, he's going after shots, he's blocking shots, he's playing good defense, and offense is going to click for him. He's he a dangerous scorer, and sometimes shots just don't go in, but he's every day in practice, he's getting buckets, and he's going to start getting shots, and the shots are starting to fall from on Tuesday. How much, how much of a tune up was this game as far as uh, preparing for? Michigan State. I mean, it, even in practice, like our intensity is up high. Uh, Coach Cal's on everybody's case about our intensity. If guys take a possession off, we stop and we talk about it and we kind of come together. And I think we did a really, really, really good job of that today where there weren't that many defensive lapses or mental lapses where if, if anything, there's one guy instead of two or three. And it's just a lot of it's just young guys and trying to get everybody to mesh well together. And, um, I think for the last five days in practice, we've done a really, really good job of being intense and then having that high energy the entire time. How much, if any, have the guys go back to the last year talked about what happened in that new game? So, you know, it was one versus two, like it's going to be on Tuesday? Uh, I think they'll have short memories. I don't think we, we haven't really talked about it that much. The guys are just looking forward to this year and, and really looking forward to Tuesday. Do you think it kind of got their attention, though, in some ways that you guys you know you have to go into this with some confidence, but not too much? Yeah, absolutely. You got to go into every game with a little bit of confidence. You have to go in thinking that you hope that everything that you do for the last five months can carry into that game. Um, you can't overthink things. You can't freak out with the stage that you're going to play on. And I think that the guys, especially the guys that are veterans that have played in this way tournament and it's been there three times, um, he's done a really good job of kind of keeping everybody calm. I mean, once you get out there, it's, you're going to have jitters and stuff. But I think Nick's, Nick's done a really good job of helping us out and so has Ashley. It looked like you guys were a lot more physical tonight. How much was that emphasized in practice this week? It, it was, the, I think, the point of emphasis <laughs> is rebounding and, and being physical and going after rebounds. You feel like you guys did that tonight for the world? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I thought we did a lot better job of, of going and hitting guys and then going after rebounds instead of turning and watching. I have to do a better job of hitting guys first and then going to get it, but I thought as a, as a team we did a really good job of it. For however, however long Nick is out, how much more onus does that put on yourself and EJ and even some of the guys like Khalil and Keon just to step up and play in the post? Uh, I mean, we definitely, we're definitely missing Nick because he's a great rebounder and a great teammate. I think for us, the guys that are playing, we just have to really step up, be physical, be high energy the entire time we're in there. Are you guys ready for Keon and Michigan State? Absolutely. Everybody's ready for it. <laughs> What do you say to EJ, a guy 